Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is every week go through all the new beauty releases as seen on Tread Mood's Instagram page and I decide whether I think I'm going to add them to my wish list or if I think they're a total washout. So before we get into this week's products, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and you want to see any more videos. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. We're going to start this week with the reveal of the Besame Cosmetics and Agent Carter collaboration. Now the packaging is stunning, of course it is, it's gorgeous, it's Besame. I was a little underwhelmed by the rest of the products, but the red lipstick actually looks beautiful and I really want to get that red lipstick. I like the packaging of it. I'm not really interested in the eyeshadow palette or just the face powder, even though like the packaging is stunning. It seems like this is really geared more towards makeup collectors and people who would just display like, you know, the beautiful passport front of the eyeshadow palette. Like I feel like people would love to have that on display on a shelf or on their vanity. But I'm not sure if like those colors, like all I can see here is like a, like a beige, a green, and a brown. They're not really vibrant. Like the green looks interesting, but I'm not going to buy the palette just for the one green shade, especially when I have tons of green shades. Colourpop is coming out with a new collaboration with Wilsong Brielle. Wilsong Brielle? I think that's how you pronounce it. It looks like it's gonna be two palettes, three lip products, an eyeshadow, and a highlighter. The only thing I would think about getting are the eyeshadow palettes, but I haven't seen the inside of them. I'm not sure exactly what colors they're gonna be. If they're neutral, I'm gonna pass. I actually just picked up, I didn't mention it at the beginning of the video, but from my last video, I picked up two products, one of which I am wearing. This is the Kylie Lip Kit in Ironic. I love the shade, like I, I love it. And the other product I'm actually wearing on my eyes today, I picked up all of the colorful new ColourPop eyeshadows. This is beautiful. This is stunning. I'm actually wearing the shade right here, this gold shade all over my lid today. This one is called Night Show. It's dark bronzy gold and it looks stunning with the green lipstick and I haven't been able to play with the rest of these eyeshadows yet. Of course, I get like this wonderful array of colorful eyeshadows the week i have a bunch of events to run and i have a bunch of interviews so i haven't been able to play with color as much as i would like but i'm definitely going to dig into these and let you guys know my thoughts so anyway with that being said i do have a lot of color pop shadows but if it's a curated palette that is interesting i'll probably pick it up I'm not really interested in the highlighter, the Super Shock shadow, or the lip products. So we finally saw the inside of one of JLo and Inglot's collaboration products. It's supposed to be like 70 products, which is insane. But we saw the inside of the first palette. Okay. Like, I get, like, it's supposed to be J-Lo. Like, all she does is bronze and super neutral and super bronzy, but how much is this palette? This palette is almost $50 for a bronzer and three boring neutral shadows. Nope, nope, this isn't for me. I don't know if that bronzer would even look good in my skin tone. It looks fairly orange in the pan, and I have those shades three times over in other palettes in my collection. I think that's a lot of money that I mean I'm interested to see what the rest of the collection looks like but if it's like this I don't know something interesting and a little bit different Sigma is actually coming out with I guess it's a collaboration with Sunday Riley the skincare company to come out with skincare brushes I really want to look into this more and see what exactly they are trying to like promote with because I know you can use like brushes to put on like face masks or you're supposed to be if you have like a, a moisturizer in like a jar you're supposed to be like sanitary and use like a little thing to scoop it out and put it on your face I just love moisturizers and stuff in squeezy tubes or in pumps so I don't have to worry about that but this set I mean the brushes look beautiful I would like to see them come out with a kit of like the brushes and skincare I think that would be perfect. So if they do come out with that collaboration like as a kit, I would really be interested, especially since some of my favorite skincare products are from Sunday Riley. So if I see one of my favorites in like a kit with some brushes, I'll probably be picking it up. 
Stila just came out. I think it's available now. Yes, it's available now. It's a new glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow. The shade is called Beauty Junkie and it's this beautiful bright pink with gold shimmer. I'm tempted. I love my Stila glitter and glows. I have a whole drawer of them. I love them to death. They're the easiest thing to use. They look beautiful. They look great throughout the day. And I'm like, that's such a nice spring shade. They did really well. So we'll see. I really want to swatch it. I really want to see it on my skin tone. I want to see it in stores. So the next time I go in store, I want to swatch it. If it looks as beautiful in person as it does in this photo, I'll, I'll be getting it. <laughs> Something I'm really really excited for. Huda Beauty is coming out with two new mini eyeshadow palettes. I have two of them already. I have the Electric Obsessions and I have the Smoky Obsessions. It's a black and white photo so we have no idea what they are. I see one looks mostly matte with a couple of shimmers and then one looks almost totally like shimmer or glitter. I want to see an earth tone palette. I think that would be stunning. Greens, browns, shimmers, maybe some yellows. Ha! I want to see one of those and then the all shimmer palette I want to see like pinks and purples and more than the electric palette like spring I want to see like cherry blossom colors I want to see flowers like I want bright and then I want earth I want everything to do with the earth <laughs> it's spring I'm sick of the snow I'm sick of the cold I want blooming flowery colors and I cannot wait to see what these two palettes look like Speaking of blooming, <laughs> we saw the inside of the Nabla Cosmetics Soul Blooming Palette. Saying I was underwhelmed would be an understatement. It's, it, it's, it's a neutral palette with three colors in there and it's three different shades of purple. I don't like that there's only one matte colorful shade which means you really have to go to the rest of these other mattes to you know build your transition and everything. If you cover up those purple shades it's a boring neutral palette and I don't know how much this costs but I'm not interested. I saw the cover I saw like the front of this palette and I thought "Ooh, if it's like pinks and purples and blah but it's like salmon salmon beige white brown 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 pink and then a purple like I don't know why companies feel the need to throw in that many neutrals like you could have one or two neutrals and like make a palette out of it you could even curate a palette around colorful shades you don't always need the neutrals in the palette so that was everything for this week's weekly wish list or washout a lot more hits than misses I think a few things I'm super excited for so let me know down below what are you most excited for are you going to be picking any of these up as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like weekly wish lists or washouts and you want to see any more in the future and I hope I'll see you in my next video bye